Yeshayahu, Isaiah 28. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. Behold, Adonai has a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand the crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden under feet, and the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley shall be a fading flower and as the hasty fruit before the summer, which when he that looks upon it sees, while it is yet in his hand, he eats it up. In that day shall Yahuwah Sevaoth be for a crown of glory, and for a diadem of beauty upon the remnant of his people, and for a ruach of judgment to him that sits in judgment, and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. But they also have erred through wine and through strong drink and are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. At whom shall he teach knowledge, and at whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with foreign lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing Yet they would not hear. But the word of Yahuwah was sent unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Wherefore, hear the word of Yahuwah, ye scornful men, that rule this people which is in Yerushalayim. Because ye have said, We have cut a covenant with death, and with Sheol are we at agreement, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through. It shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge and understood falsehood have we hid ourselves. Rather, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I lay in Sion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, he that believes shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to, to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant eth with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement eth with Sheol shall not stand when the overflowing scourge 
shall pass through. Then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goes forth it shall take you. For morning by morning shall it pass over, by day and by night. And it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it, and the covering narrower than he can wrap himself in it. For Yahuwah shall rise up as in Mount Paratzim. He shall be wroth as in the valley of Givan, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now therefore be ye not mockers, lest your bands be made strong, for I have heard from Adonai Yahuwah Sevaoth a consumption even determined upon the whole earth. Give ye ear and hear my voice, hearken and hear my speech. Does the plowman plow all day to sow? Does he open and break the clods of his ground? When he has made plain the face thereof, does he not cast abroad the fitches and scatter the cumin, and cast in the principal wheat and the appointed barley, and the rye in their place? For his Elohim instructs him to discretion, and teaches him. For the fitches are not threshed, with the threshing instrument, neither is a cart wheel turned about upon the cummin, but the fitches are beaten out with a staff, and the cummin with a rod. Bread grain is bruised, because he will not ever be threshing it, nor break it with the wheel of his cart, nor bruise it with his horsemen. This also comes forth from Yahuwah Sevaoth, which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working.